Jay Leno has been involved in another accident. The former late night host has broken his collarbone, two ribs, and cracked both of his kneecaps in a motorcycle accident. He revealed in an interview with the Las Vegas Review Journal. The latest incident comes less than two months after the 72-year-old comedian suffered burns to his face and neck when a steam engine exploded in his face while working on a vintage car. When Jay was asked about how he was doing following his burn accident, he revealed that earlier this month, he had another incident, telling the outlet, that was the first accident, okay? Then just last week, I got knocked off my motorcycle. So I've got a broken collarbone. I've got two broken ribs. I've got two cracked kneecaps, but I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm working. I'm working this weekend. Jay told the publication that he was testing a 1940 Indian motorcycle and noticed the smell of leaking gas, sharing details about the accident. So I turned down a side street and cut through a parking lot and unbeknownst to me, some guy had a wire strung across the parking lot, but with no flag hanging from it. So, you know, I didn't see it until it was too late. It just clotheslines me and boom, knocked me off the bike. The bike kept going and you know how that works out. Jay didn't publicly reveal this accident until now due to the amount of media coverage he received from his November hospitalization and recovery. Adding, you know, after getting burned up, you get that one for free. After that, you're Harrison Ford crashing airplanes. You just want to keep your head down. The Jay Leno's Garage star may have been in scary accidents recently, but vintage cars and motorcycles will always be his passion. Access Hollywood chatted with Jay back in September, and he shared about his cars and why he loves it so much. And he was so nice knowing that I loved cars. He invited my dad and I to Aww. his garage. And it was the most impressive car collection you've ever seen in your it's life. It's not a garage. Well, no, first of all, not just cars, by the way. Tons of motorcycles. My guy's got a fire engine. That's it's like the first hanger. ever built. Uh -huh. uh, seventh <laughs> season of your of your show. Right. Did you ever think it would go on this long? And what I love is even people that aren't that into cars love it. Why do you think that is? Well, the fun thing is it's, it's a car show. For example, a lot of times you, you have people that love cars, obviously. But a lot of times you find a celebrity and they go, you know, I don't know anything about cars. And I say, did your parents have cool cars? Well, my dad had an old Cadillac, and we would go for ice cream every Sunday in it. So, so we find that model Cadillac, we pick up the star, we go for ice cream. It, 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 it's, it's a rolling version of the Tonight Show, except sort of you're in a car. And there's something disarming about it. People feel freer to talk in a car yeah. as opposed to. Plus, the other thing is, when I book people, I call them and go, look, I don't care about your cocaine bust. I'm not interested in your divorce. <laughs> this is not, not a gotcha. I don't care about your DUI. We're just talking about car. Oh, okay. And then when they know I'm not going to go there, all the guards down, and we, we have a good time. So we were coming in with a clip with uh, Post Malone, who's such a nice guy, very talented. What kind of car is Post driving? Well, that was a car called a Hennessy. That is built in Texas. Uh, it's one of the fastest cars in the world, and Malone wow. likes fast cars. Uh, you know, he's a... He's a fascinating guy. He's the most unassuming guy. You know, if you were, if you had no idea who he was, you'd go, what's that guy doing here? How do you get in here? If there's no entourage. He comes by himself, very unassuming, and just a, a kind guy. You know, some yeah. people just give off kindness and yes. good vibes, you know, and, and that's what I like about him. He's very open to, oh, I'll try anything, you know. That's awesome. Yeah, very yeah. talented, too. Really talented. Yeah. And, it, and it just rolls off talent. It's not... I gotta go to home and work on something organic. Yeah, yeah. It just it just sort of happens. Exactly. Yeah. If you were gonna get a face tattoo, what would you get? <laughs> I mean, it was gonna be there. I, followed, I would have a tattoo of my face, so people would not know that I had a tattoo. <laughs> when people looked at me, they go, "Is that your face?" No, this is a tattoo. No, no, it's a tattoo. Of my face. I would assume first car or something. How many cars? I are... would I would have a tattoo that say, "Make sensible decisions." Right. Makes sense. <laughs> Supposed to always tired. Yeah. Right yeah. there. How many? Cars are in the garage now, TJ. Oh boy, you sound like my wife. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's about 203. Some are valuable. Some are. Every week, it's a different sticker. You know, okay. <laughs> but these are first world problems, really. It's not the. Yeah. You know. No, it's awesome because it's a passion. Well, and... it's fun. I mean, some are valuable, but some are just old cars that I, I just never sold anything. 